Bullet holes riddle this L.A. County Sheriff's Department patrol car. Some from an assault rifle fired at the deputies inside, some from the deputies themselves returning fire. One deputy was struck. Uh, it appears that he was a graze wound to his uh, right arm that continued on and grazed his uh, shoulder. The pursuit and shootout happened around 1120 last night, starting in Compton, where the deputies tried to pull over a black Cadillac Escalade for reckless driving. That SUV registered to Keenan Jackson, best known as rapper YG. It's unknown if Jackson was in the SUV at the time, but whoever was opened fire. When a sheriff's helicopter joined the pursuit, it too was targeted. The passenger in the Escalade uh, produced a, a high-powered assault rifle, fired rounds at the helicopter. We believe at this time at least one round may have struck the rotor. Surveillance cameras caught small parts of the pursuit that Cadillac Escalade investigators say was armored with bullet-resistant windows. The Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. I do not like this little nigga behind me, man. Real talk. I got so much shit going on. Last night I started shooting the um the the, the talking scenes for the uh, DVD, which y'all know the Big Facts Podcast DVD will be coming out soon. Try to have that for y'all by the time I get on probation. Um also, I'm working on Streamlabs um, to where we can have, when we go live, that shit is a even bigger event. Shot the to Tone Space, he helped me out with that shit, because anything with a fucking laptop, I'm good with the phone. I did, I do everything with the phone. So, uh, with this Streamlabs shit, you got to uh, fuck with the laptop. I don't use a laptop for shit, but you know what I'm saying? researching my fucking tags. You know what I'm saying? I don't do shit on that goddamn laptop. Sometimes I upload videos from the uh, laptop because I save all my videos from the phone. I save them to the laptop um, before I put them out. So like you done ex exporting that shit, save it to the laptop so that I can have it. Uh, and that's just in case YouTube come with that bullshit and uh, fuck up one of my channels and shit like that. I'll have the videos to restart another channel. Um, fucked up part is I just started doing this shit maybe two months ago so all I got is two months worth of fucking videos and you know we got damn near two years worth of videos and some of the best videos are the ones two years ago so that's what that is but I'm just working man. I'm just working trying to get this shit together but um, welcome back to the Rap Trap I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement And this is, I'm watching the um, Japan versus USA softball fucking uh, uh, game and shit like that. Ever since I put ESPN on this fucking TV, like, it's just, now it's just shit. Like, anybody can watch sports. That's why I put the shit there so that anybody who may come over and an artist, client come over, We'll have something to talk about. This conversation piece, really. Um, but fuck all that, man. Why Jesus got me shot the police? It is the story that people will want you to believe. You know that that gets headlines. Why G shot the police? But in real life, what happened was uh, when a YG homeboy got high. When that homeboy got high, is on that dope, drinking and shit like that. And got in the fucking, uh, got in the goddamn truck. And was getting pulled over and just started shooting at the fucking police. Um, as they try to pull them over and shit like that. Um, and they in a bulletproof fucking SUV and shit like that. Um, so the police can't, so he, they, they really going 
round for round. So they got a goddamn AR, whatever the fuck they shooting at the police car. Police shooting at them. Helicopter come, they shooting at the helicopter and shit like that. On some real, you know what I'm saying, GTA shit. I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. I'm gonna be honest and say, hold on. I gotta stop putting shit towards the camera because it'll throw off the focus. Then when I did that little key video, I put the phone up towards the camera and that shit was out of focus until I came back up to the camera and unfocused the shit. But um, to be honest with you dog, to see somebody treat The ops, which is anybody who opposes me, so it could be a nigga up the street with, with a red rag, a nigga up the street with a blue rag, black rag, white, whatever the fuck. Anybody who is my op is my fucking op. That's why um, August, I don't know, August 25th, I think that's when the movie Black and Blue come out. I'm going to see that, and I'll be off probation, so I may be watching that in Ohio, maybe watching that in D.C., you know what I'm saying? But I will be, that's gonna be like our first event. Um, as a nation, we're going to, I'm giving y'all plenty of time to get y'all money together. If y'all wanna come out and watch the premiere of Black and Blue with me, um, when that movie come out, um, be ready to fly. You know what I'm saying? Because it's either gonna be in DC, might be in New York, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be DC, New York, or Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the three first places. The first place, of course, is D.C. Um, if if it's D.C., if we can get these 10,000 signatures, which it doesn't look like we're going to get the 10,000 signatures. But uh, if we some kind of way get the uh, 10,000 signatures, if y'all go to work and start promoting this men to petition, then it'll be in D.C. But if not, it'll be in Ohio or New York. Um... Uh, who knows? I might just go up there goddamn by myself, me and two signs, just going crazy in front of uh, the White House. But um, I'm going to see that movie Black and Blue because just from that preview with Tyrese and uh, the girl from, um, it's crazy as fuck. I mean, everybody from that movie had a good career. Jada Pickett set it off. I'm talking about uh, Jada Pickett, you gotta excuse me, sometimes I live in my own head, so I know what move I'm talking about, and I expect you to know what move I'm talking about. But um, Jada Pickett, um, what was that, Vivica Fox, uh, Queen Latifah, and Naomi Harris, I think that's her name, Naomi Harris, uh, all of them went on to have great fucking careers. Like, none of them fucking fell off. So, definitely salute to her. But it's Naomi Harris and uh, Tyrese in Black and Blue, and uh, Naomi Harris plays it. You can watch the trailer uh, of Black and Blue, and um, you'll see. And I, I like the way it was set up. And uh, it, it definitely lets you know that wrong is wrong, right is right, no matter what skin you're behind, no matter what uniform you're behind. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, so, to be honest, I kind of want to take another motherfucking angle with this shit uh, and say, we need to wait till the goddamn body cam footage come out. We need to wait till the goddamn, you know, dashboard footage come out or some shit like that. Um, that's what I really want to say for real. But that's not what we, we're not doing political shit on this show. We're just talking about as far as how this rap shit will fuck you over. And obviously we see with you getting that money, dog, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, what I want to talk about for real is how... The people around you, you have to know their motives, what they're there for, and this kind of goes into what I was talking about the other day when I was talking about our eyes being scanners and things going into our mind from our eyes. So we're on social media all day. They make sure that we're all on social media, especially the entertainers, anybody who wants to be in entertainment, we're watching social media. Um, and, and so many people on social media that it wouldn't even matter if the people who weren't on social media tried to rise up against the 
social media fucking zone. God damn it, dog. Shut it up. It wouldn't even matter if the people, let's say that everyone who, let's say that I'm right, and there is something on social media. So you're watching the shit that you want to watch, but on all of our uh, accounts, there is something on there that we did not ask to see. Whether it be a, um, a, um, a advertisement for a fucking waiter, an advertisement for whatever the fuck. I'm saying, what if they found a way like the human brain works like this you can inject a drug the eyes are like scanners and we can get drugs into a person's system through their eyes just from their them seeing it like a fucking barcode they scan this and this happens inside their brain it may not even happen immediately and, and what if they say like you get enough of this chemical from this phone through your eyes onto in, they get into your system, it turns you into some type of fucking mild zombie or a sleeper cell. And that goes into this situation like the nigga went full Grand Theft Auto. Yup, like YG ain't know he had a fucking This is a different type of lunatic, regardless of what we say about we should be looking at. The police is our fucking, ah oh man, why the fuck ain't do the police like that? As much as we say that shit, dog, you have to be a different type of nigga to pull fire on the police, period, point blank. Oh shit, that's grand great. Hey look, man, we go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in at live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The super chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt, or the Me and Two t-shirt, or the Big Face Podcast Scully, Scully go for 10, the Me and Two shirt go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirt go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10, Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200 and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do. Yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. Are you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on. Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also, so you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. And if you have that type of nigga around you, you will know it. You will know it. A nigga does not just bug out that deep to where he go like, fuck it, Grand Theft Auto, I'm going to assault the guy. And it was two niggas in the car. A nigga was shooting out the passenger side. A nigga just don't bug out that deep, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's a big ass fucking case, you know, as you think about this shit. It's a big ass fucking case. So, um, this goes more into the rap trap shit, man. Like, once this substance is inside of the human body, you can send this fucking pulse 
to this particular phone and automatically the motherfucker just haywire. And then you have analog control of that person. I'm just saying, my nigga, and I'm saying this because if you go on my Instagram, I said, like yesterday I woke the fuck up and I thought about something that I had seen months ago, maybe even years ago. And I'm like, why the fuck did I just think about that? I didn't even know that was still in my mind. That shit should have been gone. But it was still there. And you know, all the shit I'm into, you watch the movie, um, what's the movie with fucking Denzel and um, Manchurian Candidate. You know what I'm saying? It's like, these movies don't come out of thin air. My mother always said that these movies do not come out of thin air. They came from a place. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen a white man go to fucking Seoul, Korea and get into a fucking biometric suit. I'm trying to get inside of fucking Megatron and be able to control the, the fucking robot's fingers and shit like that. In order for that shit to be on YouTube, they had to have that shit at least 20 years. So what the fuck are they on now? I'm saying let's not let's not rule this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Let's not rule this shit out. Having everybody on, and I'm saying it even more because I have to sleep damn near, even if I'm not asleep, I try to stay in the bed at least 12 fucking hours just trying to mentally wash all the shit off of me, off of my mind that I've seen within that fucking day. Because obviously you know, negative, 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 negative. And why does it have to be like that? Because I'm trying to teach something. I'm trying to change something inside of your mind. If I gave you positive shit, as I've told y'all, shout out to TD, um, TD uh, Hip Hop Media, uh, Tony DeLarme over there. He gives you, he has a, a fucking, on his show, it's called What's Good. And he tells you, uh, David Banner just uh, made a new app. Uh, Puff Daddy just became the richest man on earth. Jay Z just became a bitch. He'll tell you what's good. Those videos don't get crazy views like that. People want to know drama. You know, it's just what the fuck it is. It's not just hoes that like drama. It's humans that like drama. We need conflict. A movie is not a movie if there is not a conflict. There has to be um, a person, a conflict, and then a resolution. That's a movie. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all. If there's no problem. There's no movie. So, um, it, it's just that shit, man. You know, so as people are sending me shit, um, I had a fucking dude, man, yesterday. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. Like, dog, if your fucking video, somebody just sent me today a video of a fucking dog having a seizure. Why not? And look, honestly, that it may have been a good ending to that fucking video. Maybe you want to show how well this can make the dog stop having a seizure. But dog, I'm overloaded with this negativity shit. If it don't have nothing to do with the news, rappers, and not even when I'm, I'm t not even don't send me no front page news shit that everybody fucking knows. Don't send that shit to me. I got somebody else sending me goddamn videos. Of the same fucking video that I posted on fucking IG. Of the bitch in the car hitting the nigga. Nigga like, I didn't put my hands on you. Why in the fuck are you still sending me that shit? How hard is it if you're if you're a fan, you fuck with me like, hey man, I, hey man, I saw this video, I thought about you. Okay, so you don't follow my page? Come on, dog. I'm telling you, it's a lot of fucking negative intake. Had somebody yesterday send me a picture of somebody cutting a tree, the, the tree fucking break, and it slapped back, hit him in the face and shit like that, then the next image is him with his fucking face hanging off. How does that help me? What what, what can I possibly use that for? Oh, Y'all better watch out when you cutting these trees. Shit, you might end up like, what the fuck? And like, so I understand how, you know, it, it, it's insanity, mental health, all these things. I know how important that shit is. So I make sure that when I get up, before I even touch the fucking phone, I, I turn on gospel music as soon as I get up. I get the dogs cleaned up. I don't touch that phone until after I say my prayers. Because this shit is just extremely fucking negative. And I'm saying it 
we're taking this shit in. We're taking, not just me, We're maybe I'm taking a little bit more, but you're seeing the same shit. You're seeing the same shit because this is what gets, oh, look at that, the fight. It's just, you know what I'm saying? And it, a lot of people aren't, you know, because you got jobs and shit like this. You're not sleeping for no fucking 12 hours. You got to deal, you, you don't get no moment of peace. And this is how people get killed. You're just overloaded with this negativity, negativity, and you don't give your mind any rest. You're just in a world of perpetual negative bullshit. And then it explodes and you start shooting at the fucking police. Which, like I said, I'm not sure how how crazy that should be looked at. Because, like in the movie Black and Blue, things do get hidden and we don't know the full story. People have to fight to give us the full story. Um, but automatically, you hear somebody shooting at the police. Oh my God, this, oh shit, yeah, who would do a, such a thing? Well, we don't know exactly what happened, so let's wait on the full footage to come forth so we can know exactly what went down. Because we have ample evidence of police doing the wrong fucking thing. It's only a matter of time before people say, you know what, God damn it, man. God damn. Now, me, with my loved ones, as I've told y'all before, I would tell them to comply with the police on every sect. Um, and of course, to think that, you know, uh, these niggas was in a goddamn rapper homeboy in a car and then they get pulled over and the police just come in the car and try to dump and kill them. You know what I'm saying? That's far-fetched and shit like that. But I'm just giving, I'm just letting you know, with me, the bar lies right in the middle. The bar is right in the fucking middle. Meaning that I don't believe this side or that side until everything comes forth. And even when everything comes forth, I'm still looking at it with a second eye. Because 9-11 did take place. A lot of shit that you wouldn't think that the good guys would do, they done. And maybe you will say they done it for the, 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 the better of America and shit like that. It was done. So don't, don't start fucking... Saying the national anthem on me, man. I'm not. I'm not with that. You got the wrong one. But that's even further away from what I want to get at. Bottom line is, as an artist, you have so many ways to fail and so little ways to succeed. You better hope you get on with some type of alcohol, some shoe company, or some fucking clothing line. Because the days of being able to tour off song like the Eagles and the Beatles and all shit like that, we don't really get that type of, you know what I'm saying, run and shit like that. Um, even, you know, you look at the artists who are kind of touring and shit like that off their old hits. They doing that shit because, like, uh, what's the nigga name? Um, not MC Abel uh, and artists like him. Spice One. Like, them niggas said, man, nigga, I'm, I just bitch doing $800 shows just to pay the rent and shit. Nigga going to, to white bars and all kind of shit. They tell them, hey, when you go on, man, you just put this cowboy hat on. You really going out this bitch entertaining old white ladies at the retirement home, but they paying you $800 so you can't turn it down because you already behind. That's sad as fuck. So you have to hope for a shoot deal a, you know what I'm saying, liquor deal or a fucking clothing deal. So it's crazy as fuck, man. You got to put the money in real estate. But even then, when you try to put the money in real estate, you don't know shit about real estate. And and from we, what we hear about real estate, you have to be able to lose. You know what I'm saying? Before you can win because there's so many fucking, you know what I'm saying, so much troubleshooting that you have to do before you can actually be successful. It's not just buying a house, fixing it up, and selling it, which that seems like that's exactly what you would do, but it's different than that. It's different. Because all these fucking billion dollar real estate companies have already, there's not a speck of dirt on this planet that they have not seen and either bought. You know what I'm saying? So all the good places are already bought and they're not being sold. Get you a house on it, you know what I'm saying? And, 
And then even with that, they'll gentrify the whole shit and here, he go to money. Hold on, I don't want to sell. It don't matter if you want to sell, he go to money. You out of there. So it, it, it's just a different thing. So you look at all the ways that you can fucking lose, though. ARL, Rallo, Finesse, two times. Those are the three people that come to my mind when it comes down to, like, what the fuck happened? Like, what the fuck happened? We're rappers, but we still have to be street niggas. And if we're not, this is the rap trap. If we're not street niggas, we can no longer be rappers. A lot of these niggas are having to fake it until they make it. Not faking that they have money, but faking it that they're making money from rap. If niggas actually told you how much they made off streaming this year, you'll be like, God damn, this nigga. You will say he fell off, but he was never on. If you knew that the support you think a person has he doesn't have, you'll start looking at him like a local artist and you'll look at everything that he does differently. And they know that. So they have to make you believe, oh yeah, nigga, nigga, big money, nigga, shit, nigga, you know we get it over there, bitch, nigga, show after show, nigga, I stay booked. To the point where you'll, you'll even take a, 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 a free show or, you know, it's right here, like, nigga, we ain't tripping on the money. You know what I'm saying? Because you just gotta look like you got it. Where's the money coming from, though? Because it's not coming from the streaming. It's not coming from the music. But in order to ever get money from music, you're going to have to make it look like you're already getting it. Because it's just us as a people. We do not want you to get rich off of us. We want you to already be rich. Then we'll throw it in the pot because you already got it. But if it's an empty pot, oh, I'm not going to goddamn it. The fuck look like you need my goddamn The fuck now, I ain't in this shit. But you see a nigga got a billion dollars. Gucci. Fendi. You got a billion fucking dollars, you'll go give them whatever the fuck they want. But you got a black business over here selling shot to Trump. Shit, I can't. Shit. God damn, bro. $20 for that? God damn, bro. You got to bring your price down, bro. Like, shit, bro. You trying to come up, bro. Shit. You got to be for real. You need to give some of that shit away, bro. Let folks rock that shit. Not everybody's a fucking business kind of sewer. But wouldn't dare. Man, it, and it's just, you know. Nigga, you ain't wearing that shit for style. That shit, that, it bothers me, dog. It bothers me so much that I, I, um, I encourage my black business owners that have clothing lines, man, hit me up. Y'all prices started a hundred dollars for promotion on this show, just because, like, I'm with that shit. I'm with it because I know that nothing is live. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. It subconsciously we make that shit live. You know what I'm saying? Gucci is not live. It's, it's a whole nother company that's way live than that. But we don't know. Dog, have you seen these fucking shoes that these motherfuckers are wearing? It's not because they're live. It's because they're Gucci's. And we know this shit. But you have a black fucking shoemaker that makes live ass shoes. Oh, shit, right? I ain't wearing them goddamn bobos. So this, this is why it, it fucks me up, and that's why I'm just so torn with this situation. Because it's like, God damn, yeah, nigga, nigga went out bad and all that shit like this. And of course, YG, you gonna have to watch. See, it's kind of like this shit, dog. YG, you gonna have to watch um, how you handle this situation because they're gonna try to put you in a box to where, at the very least, they'll get you on a perjury charge. Or, you know, they, they definitely hoping that you're on some type of probation already. That's why they, they want to sign artists that are on probation. They can say, yeah, I'm, you know, we had to take a big risk on them, but we believe in them. Now, we want you to be on a, you know what I'm saying, on, on thin ice so that we can, oh, well, you don't want us to call your probation. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Let's run it down. He's going to say the car is stolen. They know this. Uh, so he's going to say the car is stolen. He wasn't in the car. They're gonna go in the car and they're gonna find um I don't even know if they got the niggas yet. I don't think they said they got the niggas. 
But how the fuck would they have got away though? They had a helicopter, but they didn't say who they had in custody. So let's run it as if um, they don't have the, the car and the niggas got away. So what they're gonna do is, he's gonna say the car is stolen. Of course, they already got that, that statement. I had the car stolen, I don't know what happened. I was asleep, the car was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so do you mind if you get your surveillance camera? You can't have my surveillance camera because that surveillance camera will say what happened. So maybe, so what the fuck you should do, YG, is burn all that shit. Burn all that fucking tape. Oh, they went on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just cut them off. Um, yeah, I know uh, the camera was off. Uh, nothing on them. Um, they're going to find the SUV. Um, Doubt they be able to fucking burn that motherfucker up. Um, they're gonna find his DNA in there because it's his truck. Will that be enough for them to get a warrant on a YG? You know what I'm saying? Is his, is his truck? His DNA is in there. Cause that proper cause for them to, and that's gonna be the whole thing. So now, cause that's what they want. They don't want him to be in a free world, fighting this. You know what I'm saying? They want him to be inside so he can actually feel the pressure and let his mind start wondering. Cut him off from some of his resources. Give a word to the fucking jail. Tell them motherfuckers, hey, you know, kind of trying to make it hard on them. Put them in PC the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Fuck up his phone and shit like that. All kind of shit. Uh, just making it uncomfortable for him because we know, because they know, they think they know that he knows who was in that car. So they and we need to watch out for this. Also, we need to watch out for them telling us that he's telling them what actually happened. Because the first thing they want to do after they cut you off from your resources is cut you off from your support system. So, he gonna hold it down, he gonna be strong as long as he know the world is out there looking at him, supporting him being a gangster and not saying nothing. They know the code, you ain't supposed to snitch. So they'll put the word out like, yeah, we got information, we're going after two suspects. Oh man, YG didn't told on them boy, man. God damn, YG. No, not you, bro. Bro, you a goddamn talking about goddamn six nine snitching, bro. What the fuck, man? Goddamn, because that's just how the streets is. The streets is not. They're not gonna do no investigation if the police is, is fucking retarded as fuck. If the police say it, they believe it, unless it's them in that situation. As much as everybody swear to God, they street niggas. More than niggas want to be street niggas, niggas want to be the first one to know something. Oh shit, I brush you in, yo. Oh, bro, you tripping, bro. All right, you, all right. All right, you gonna see, bro. Man, the nigga snitching, bro. But he telling, bro. You need to get your ass out of town, bro. The nigga ain't finna hold you down, bro. I know, bro. I've been around that nigga. I've been trying to tell y'all nigga about that. Come on, bro. You know this nigga, bro. That nigga would not even know that like that, bro. That nigga's a rapper, nigga. The fuck you think he gonna hold you? The, the nigga told, bro, the police didn't say it, bro. You think they gonna lie about who they going after, bro? What the fuck, nigga? And it's the same nigga who, when he was locked up, uh, it, and, uh oh, when he went to court, the prosecutor then lied, the, the head detective on the stand, he lying like a motherfucker. Yes, we found the gun on Mr. Rogers. Um, he was very uh, defiant. What the fuck? It wasn't no gun there, lawyer. It's not fine, nigga. This nigga lying like a motherfucker in front of everybody. But now you on the street. Bro, the nigga told, bro. The goddamn police they ain't gonna lie about that, bro. Bro, when you went to court, you said they lied. Bro, that was different, bro. Be stupid there, bro. Be stupid there, bro. I ain't, I don't give a fuck, bro. I know what the fuck going on. And that's just nigga. So, automatically. But let it be, let it be somebody with white supporters. They're fucking lying, bro. It's bullshit. It's 
fucking bullshit. So he told. It's fucking bullshit. He would never fucking tell, bro. Never. It's fucking bullshit. Turn that shit the fuck off, bro. I don't know that. I don't know all that. I, I want to say they, uh, the fuck they say about Jesus Christ. I don't know. But it's different. White people, st like they, they, nigga, they can have videotape of motherfuckers stabbing somebody. It's fucking fake, bro. You can tell it's fucking edited. Bro, look. Bro, right there. They cut it right there, bro. Look, look. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't ride with their, but us, it's like, nah. And so nobody want to be stupid, so now everybody believe. Yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? A nigga told and shit like that. And once, and that's when they'll open the phone lines back up. So now you call home and, bro, these motherfuckers saying you told, bro, tell them motherfuckers I ain't telling and shit like that. But once the word is out there, now the people who said that you was telling that first, this is something that we have as, well, not we have, but ignorant people have this, of any race. If you can't admit when you're wrong, you're ignorant, um, you're not a smart person because the only way that you're ever going to learn anything the only way that you're going to gain intelligence true intelligence true is by being able no matter what the truth is standing with the truth so that would mean that if you believe me I believe in flat earth if subsequent evidence came forward that the earth is actually around, in order for me not to be a fucking idiot, if the proof was there, like we act like saw it, like and you knew it, hundred percent, it's what the fuck it is. I would have to concede and say, damn, sh shit, I was wrong. Damn, that's crazy, and that shouldn't be that big of a fucking deal. No matter how hard you fought, dog, you believed it then. I see it's different now. Oh, good, I was wrong. It shouldn't be that as grown-ups, we have to be able to do that. Um, it's extremely immature not to be able to say when you're wrong, especially when you're proven wrong and it's right in your face. That It just makes you look extremely unintelligent uh, by standing on something that has been proven. So a lot of times when you're arguing with your bitch and shit like that, and um, I seen the fucking phone number. It was a fucking bitch. Let's call it on back. Uh, TJ Maxx or whatever the fuck. It, 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 uh, uh, roadside assistance. She sees she's wrong. I don't give a fuck. It was a bitch on that phone. I don't give a fuck. Dog, if she does that, you have to leave right then. If you continue to date a person, boy, girl, whatever the fuck. And you've proven them wrong, and, and they've seen the evidence that they're wrong, and they brush that shit off. I don't give a fuck. It was a motherfucker on it. It was a motherfucker. That's a bitch on that phone. If you go forward with that relationship, whatever the fuck you get out of that relationship is all on you. It's all on you because that person has shown you exactly who the fuck they are. A person who. You said this guy was. Yellow, the sky is blue. Like you were wrong. The fuck, how the fuck I'm wrong? The fuck, it was. It was shut the fuck up. Get, shut, why the fuck you talking to me? See y'all later. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no sense in going any further. There's no more talking because that's going to lead to real fucking issues. You will fuck what the fuck she or he looks like if they cannot admit when they're proven wrong. You need to dip. You need to get the fuck out of there because you're going to come to a situation where you're giving them logic and they will not believe it and you may end up dead. It also means that they're a liar. So you can get in a situation and they'll lie straight faced it. Um, reminds me I got to do this uh, Dame Dash fucking clip when you talk to that, that bitch on the radio. But... All these things go into, you know, what's going on, what's going on. You have people around you. Let's say it's, it's no con, uh, uh, conspiracy and you just have people around you who don't give a fuck about where you at in life. They don't respect you. And honestly, 
they would much rather be in jail or be dead than to continue. They'll go to jail for life just so that you no longer on top. They'll be in jail, you'll be back in the hood, and they'll be fine with that. At least I don't have to be under no nigga no more. Nigga, if you have an issue being under someone, then leave. That's a female. That is a whole trait to, I ain't gonna leave unless I tear something up. I'm gonna tear something up when I leave. No. See, see, if you really felt as confident as you portray yourself to be, then you would feel like you leaving. It's going to devastate their life enough. I feel that way. I feel like I have not, not folk everything. I feel like I have such a good heart that if I step out of someone's life, I don't have to take shit with me. I can give them shit and be like, I, I feel like I do have, look, I'm going to give you this. I'm just going to back up from the situation. Just you go your way, I go mine. Because I understand and I know that I built my shit from nothing. I work alone. I don't need anyone. Except God. As far as a person, you're not going to be around me unless I can help you. Unless I can motivate you, unless I can give you something, you're not going to be around me. So, me cutting you off just for my person is going to hurt you far worse than anything I can do. Because I truly believe in myself. I'm, I'm really, I don't just portray confidence. I really am confident. When a person can't leave you without trying to fucking hurt you, that shows. It shows. You're not that bad of a bitch, dog. You're not that good of a nigga. Why the fuck do you gotta hurt somebody before you leave? You gotta break a TV. You gotta try to, you know what I'm saying? You gotta try to uh, get a nigga lined up or some shit like that. Instead of you just leaving, you gonna stay, you gonna keep playing up under a nigga. You gonna play up under a nigga and goddamn, you know, try to get a nigga set up when you already established and set up in your mind that I don't fuck with this nigga. As soon as you realize that you don't fuck with a nigga, dip. You don't gotta give no kind of excuse, no nothing, dip. But see, people know. They know when you that one. They know that them leaving ain't going to stop shit on your show. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not going to stop anything that you have going on. And they just can't put up with that shit. I'm just going to leave and you just going to keep on getting hoes? Nah, fuck that shit. I'm going to bleach your clothes. I'm going to fuck your car. I got to make you feel me because me leaving ain't enough. And that, that shit just always blew my mind. But it shows. It definitely shows. Anybody I've ever stopped fucking with, nothing but well wishes, and all of them are exactly in the same spot that I found them in when they first came to me. They're lost now. You'll never hear about them. Back to nobody's. Because of the decision they made. I never make the decision. No, no, no. It's the decision they made. So for all of you, because I just found out last night that it's at least one person that felt like he was slighted by me, but he's still following the show. Episode for fucking episode. That lets you know. That lets you know. You can go to his fucking Instagram page and see that he's in a horrible condition. Whilst you have to continue to watch me rise. But they continue to watch because they want to see the fall. I have no, I, I get nothing from watching someone's demise. I get nothing from it. It doesn't help me get to the next level. I'm all about progression. Not watching someone else fail. But people get a real kick out of that shit. It motivates them. Not to do anything, but, ah, yes. But the same love that I gave to you, all of the new people that are in my life, I give them the same love. So you know that I'll forever have people around me.
I wish all of you the best. I wish all of you the best. No matter what you did to me, no matter how you wronged me, I wish you the best. And the reason I wish you the best is because I don't want you to be watching me every day, wishing for my downfall, trying to find ways, not for you to succeed, but for me to fail. I don't want that. So I wish you the best. I hope that whatever issues, because it's not just one person, honestly. It's not just one person. Um, I really do. It's, it's extremely easy to get in contact with me, and I have a fucked up heart as far as um, a nigga can tell me a, a sad story and shit like that. And now I'm on the phone with him every day just trying to, you know, motivate him and, you know, pick him up. And niggas know that this is the truth. But then out of that comes the moment where they show who they are and I do what the fuck it is I say I do. You show who you are. I try to fix it. I don't just dip. I try to fix it. Hey, man, you stepped on my foot. Or, hey, man, your shoe's untied. If you will continue to step on my fit, foot or you'll continue to walk around with your shoes untied, when I let you know that, hey, you walk around with your shoes untied, it's making me think less of you, for one, but also, I thought that you were trying to get somewhere. You're not going to get anywhere with your shoes untied. Why do you still feel comfortable with your shoes untied? If you'll continue to walk around with your shoes untied, I'll be like, hey man, holla at you in a minute. And you'll continue to be where the fuck you are. And I think that we really need to start implementing this shit because I'm seeing a lot of situations with artists that it's the people, it's not them. It's truly the people around them. You had this shit with Slim 400. Now, YG. Seems like YG, but this is the rap trap. In order to be in this shit and be taken serious, you have to have some serious gangster niggas around you. But in that keeping those serious gangster niggas around you, you now have serious gangster niggas around you. And you're in a business environment. It's not only a formula for destruction, it's a ticking time bomb. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. All I can hope is that artists from this point forward will see the dangers of having uh, serious gangster niggas around them and then start filtering or vetting niggas like, do you still want to be a gangster? You know what I'm saying? We have security guards to do all the gangster shit. If you still want to do the gangster shit, I'm going to let you do what you do over there. And uh, Because I can't lose right now. And that's my whole shit. I can't lose right now. I can't lose. I have too many people in real life that are dependent. I can't lose right now. This is why I chose the, the three S's. This is why I've been celibate for almost four years. And this is why I haven't watched Pornhub or, you know, beat my meat for going on a whole month. Because I need to be focused. I'm 31 years old. If I don't get this shit together now, it may never happen. And I can't let anyone, anyone, fuck up where I'm going. I hope that y'all take that same mindset. Um, it's a wrap trap. Make sure I hit the PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.